Hey guys, it's Sam. And today we're going to continue our look into accessibility options on Android based devices. And in particular, today we're going to be talking about screen readers. Uh, first thing I need to say is I apologize for the way I sound. I have been sick as a dog for the last couple days and I'm starting to get over it, uh, but it's I still got some lingering effects, so we just have to push on through, right? All right, so I'm gonna talk about, uh, I had a question, I had a comment, someone asking me about screen readers, something that will read the text on the screen, and there aren't a ton of good ones, and it seems that the best one that is really out there is the native uh, talkback application. So we'll go into settings, and if you go all the way to the bottom, uh, at least on this here, you're going to have, uh, on Samsung-based devices, you're going to have accessibility. You want to click on that. And this is where you're going to find your uh, font enlarger. Uh, if it's for Android 4.2 or higher, you're going to have screen magnification. Below that, you can turn your colors negative if you want, if that helps. Instead of white text on a black background, it would be black text on a white background. But then down here, uh, somewhere in the list there, is going to be the talkback. And we're just going to click on that and you have to enable it and you just click OK Settings. and then now it will announce uh, whatever is on the screen as well as give you some haptic feedback and some uh, sound feedback now when you launch this for the first time you'll go through a tutorial and it will tell you how to interact with the screen basically anything you touch will Apps give an audible Phone. indication of what it is contacts you can also slide around our groceries gallery our tasker and it will double tap s planner button 59 unlock belt Home our groceries internet it'll announce whatever your finger lands on here and if you want to touch to uh, activate something apps you highlight it and then double tap anywhere on the screen. Eight master tasks. App Store. 500px. Matching booth. Amazon. Amazon.com. So. Apps. Oh. Showing item three of five. Now, if you're in your text messaging area and you tap on a message, it will read it out loud. Cool. We're leaving Skylar's dance right now, heading towards your house. So that's a pretty cool feature. Text message viewer. Cool. We're leaving Skylar's dance right now, heading towards your house. Messaging. Home. Another cool thing is if I tap on the email, it will tell me how many I have. Email. 3100. Now, unfortunately, if I go into the email, email, and if I tap on it doesn't read anything. You can tap on something and it will read it. Date and time. Accessory. Date and time. S pen. Motion. Now, like I said, if you want to scroll two fingers, screen mode. Showing items 1 to 12 of 39. More settings. Now you can also, you can use two fingers to scroll left or right, but you could also do a gesture motion with one finger where if I want to go to the right, I go left and right. Home screen 3. There. Home screen 4. Home screen Home screen 5. Home screen. Home screen 4. Home screen 4 of 5. Home screen 3. Home screen 3 of 5. So it works, it works pretty well. There's some settings that you can adjust. 
for me, it would be awesome if I could pick and choose what it says out loud instead of every time I come on to a, say, you know, I don't need to know all that, but for someone that had a severe vision impairment, uh, that might be actually really good. Another cool thing is screen off. It announces when the screen goes off. volume set to 55%. Sorry, I accidentally hit the volume, but it announces when the screen goes off, and then when you turn it back on, 8.51 a.m. It immediately announces the time. I really, really like that. Home um, screen three. Home screen three of five. If I could turn everything else off and just use that time, that would be awesome. So I just wanted to show real quick that it also works on the Nexus Home 7. Home screen four. Home screen four of five. And home screen three, home screen three of five. And it's uh, located in the same spot, the accessibility setting. And if for some reason it's not in your device, you can download it off the Play Store. Home screen two, home screen two of five. Home screen three, home screen. I also forgot to mention that uh, if you cover your hand up over the proximity sensor, it will mute the sound. Home screen two. Home screen two of five. I didn't that time. Home screen three. Button 90. Uh. So there you go guys. Real quick video showing off the talk back feature of Android um, a screen reader for the visually impaired. I think it works really well overall once you get the hang of it. Would have been nice as I said, if it worked in email and would read your entire email, that's kind of a letdown, but the fact that it reads text messages, that's pretty cool, and will basically read everything on your screen. But that's it for me, guys. This is Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Screen off.